Now on your feet at five, we are moving in the right direction. Today, another sign of hope and a few more rays of light at the end of this pandemic tunnel. Governor DeWine announcing a short while ago, Ohio will be getting 40% more of the Pfizer vaccine. That's over the next couple of weeks. And by the end of March, vaccine shipments should double from where they are today. Certainly great news. Bring it on. Well, the vaccine rollout has left a lot of people with a lot of questions. And that means we turn to our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, who's been just feverishly trying to sort through as many as she can. <laughs> Monica, hello to you. I've got a question for you. We're hearing that the Moderna vaccine is getting some upgrades to deal with new variants. But what does that mean for people who have already had their first dose of the Moderna vaccine? Yeah, Jay, that's a great question. The upgrades will be designed to better protect against those more contagious variants that are circulating now. And can Potentially, it could also be a booster shot. But as this virus continues to mutate, even the upgrades could eventually wane, and then we're going to be needing newer vaccines anyway. So listen, you are protected against most variants out there if you've received the Moderna vaccine. It's that South African variant that diminishes efficacy with the Moderna vaccine. So if that mutation continues to become more dominant, then yes, you may not need that booster shot. But likely, honestly, we're all going to need new vaccines in a couple of years anyway. So my advice, take what you can get right now, at least for some protection. All right, Monica. Now, I know there's been a lot of us, you know, people talking about when you get the vaccine, does it hurt? Can, you know, do I feel icky afterwards? Do you have any a kind of, you know, advice for people? Can they take some over-the-counter pain reliever? You know, a lot of people have been asking me uh, that particular question. Now, CDC guidelines say you can take an over-the-counter pain reliever like ibuprofen or acetaminophen after, after you get the vaccine. Because health experts are advising that you shouldn't take anything before you get the vaccine because they say the anti-inflammatory drugs could blunt your immune response to the vaccine and make it a little less effective. Now, if your doctor prescribes you one that you have to take every day anyway, you need to talk to your doctor about what you should do before you get your COVID vaccine. But bottom line, yes, when, when you have the boo-boo, yes, you can go take your Tylenol and your ibuprofen <laughs> Profen afterward, but uh, probably not a good idea right now. At least, uh, you know, we, we want these vaccines to be as effective as possible. And usually, you know, remember after the first dose, it's only about 50%, and it takes a couple of weeks to even get there in between. So we don't, we don't want to limit that in any way, shape, or form. Oh, and by, by the way, uh, guys, I talked to the governor's office. There will be a 1C group announced, oh. but they're not going to get to figure out who's going to be in that group until we're, we're near the end of 1B. And believe me, even though we're going to see a lot more vaccine coming down the pike, we're a long way from getting, getting finished with 1B yet. All right. Well, we'll look forward to details when you have them. Monica, thanks. We appreciate it.